This week's episode is about the somewhat controversial safety pin. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. Shortly after the elections in the U.S. this week, my Facebook feed started to show safety pins as people's profile pictures. And I had no idea what that was about, so I did a little research and realized that the safety pin is meant to be a symbol of safe people. People who are safe for people of color, Muslims, Jews, LGBTQ people, anybody who feels persecuted and at risk as a result of the elections. And of course, as soon as I figured out what the safety pin was about, I also started to see articles about it being wrong and ineffective and just another way for people to passively say that they are something that they actively are not. This morning in worship, I handed out safety pins to the people who were gathered together for worship after preaching about how we are called to participate in creating God's new heaven and new earth, a place where the wolf and the lamb lie down together, that while we wait for God to do it, God is really waiting for us to do it. And so I offered the safety pins to people saying, that they should not wear them if they are not ready to be active, if they are not ready to stand up to bullying, to sit beside someone different from them on the bus or the train, or to speak out against racism, that it can't be a passive statement, that to wear the safety pin means that you are taking a stand that you are willing to put yourself at risk for the sake of another. So I hope that anyone who wears a pin like this one wears it because they are willing to take that risk. Not because popular opinion says it's the right thing to do. You know, I think uh, of after various bombings in the unity that shows up on f places like Facebook, you know, pray for Paris, we are Paris, all that kind of stuff. But we are so selective about even our passive support. This is too important. The fear that is prevalent in this country for people who have been marginalized in any way is very real. People feel threatened and feel very afraid of their future. The safety pin should be just that, a symbol of safety that says, you can approach me, I am not afraid of you, and I will stand with you. So if you're ready to take a stand, wear a safety pin. If you're not, don't do it, and that's okay too. If you are one of those people who feels too vulnerable to wear a pin, then don't wear one. Look for those of us who are wearing them and trust that we will be with you, that we will put ourselves at risk for your sake. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.